Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. In this one, we're in chat LLM Teams, and today I'm going to show you their brand new autonomous agent functionality. The team over at Abacus AI has been very busy and they've released yet another amazing feature that I want to show you. As you're probably aware, AI agents or autonomous agents are all the rage in the AI space, especially in the Twitter sphere. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create one. We're going to create a simple email answering agent using my Gmail account. And it's going to both check emails on a regular basis and it's going to respond to emails based on any instructions that I decide to give it. I'm going to show this to you front to back. Let's go. All right. If you're following along with me, the first step's an easy one. Head over to their website, abacus.ai. Links in the description below. And then just click on new chat LLM teams. When you do that, you're going to get a new tab. And then if you have an account, of course, click on sign in. If you do not have an account, click on get started. And by the way, before you do that, please keep in mind that this is only $10 per user per month. That is exactly half the price of a chat GPT license. And you get 10 times more things with this video generation, image generation, access to all the state of the art, large language models, and so much more. So click on get started, log in, and now let's start creating our agent. All right, once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks just like this. The first thing I like to do is click on the down arrow up here at the top. It says root LLM. Click on that here, and the first thing you'll see here is you get access to all of the state-of-the-art large language models. You can take a quick tour through here. You see Sonnet 3.5, 01 Preview, 01 Mini, etc. It's all here, including the new Quen 2.5, by the way, which is pretty cool. But what we're looking for is AI Engineer, where we can create a custom chatbot and AI agent. Let's click on that here, and then we get this screen. We get two options, create a custom chatbot, which I've done videos on. I'll put a link in the description below or create an AI agent, which is what we're gonna do. Click on that, and now let's dig in and create our agent. All right, here we go. So let's create our agent here. So we're an AI engineer, and then when we scroll down here, you're gonna see here that we have an AI agent wizard. I like wizard. So here we go. We get four options. The one we're gonna do for this tutorial is the email answering agent, but you can create all different types. You can create, for example, a document entity extraction agent. Take some stuff out of a PDF or something like that. If you want to create a news reporter agent where you get the latest scoop from Twitter or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. And you can also create a custom one. I'm going to, of course, select the email answering agent. When you do that, we scroll down a little bit here and it says make autonomous. Now, for this tutorial, we are going to make it autonomous. But do keep in mind, you do get the option. If you set it to yes, like I've done here, it says here the agent will continuously look for unread emails and send replies without asking for a confirmation. Otherwise, you can manually trigger the agent and approve draft replies before it sends them. So again, both options are good. I'm going to make this autonomous. And then down here below that, you'll see here there's a reference knowledge or sort of like a database here. So you could upload a data set which will be used as reference knowledge by the agent while writing draft replies. For example, an FAQ of your website, product manual, etc. Now, if you have a, let's say we're creating a reply to somebody that submits a form on your website, for example, I would go ahead and select, yeah, let's do a data set. So I would click yes, and then I would go ahead and upload a file or zip. Remember, this is purely optional, but I want to show you this as well. So here we go. I've got one called, what is this? Kingy email responses. So this is an example of a response that I would like. So there we go. This is just an example response. I will upload that and then any other additional information. And here it says maintain a professional tone and undersign with the reply with the replies regards Curtis Pike or with the reply. That sounds perfect to me. So let's go ahead and click on submit. This will take a few seconds to go ahead and cook up. When it's done, we'll come back, show you what we got. We'll wrap it all up. All right, here we go. So the AI engineer has gone ahead and done its thing. It defined the AI agent, executed the code. Now, keep in mind that you can copy this code. So if you're technical and you want to go through it line by line and see exactly what's going on, just click on that little copy code button right there. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through this. You'll see here there's a lot going on here. But if we scroll down here, you'll see here, write the draft reply for this email and close the draft reply in brackets draft reply begins. So you'll see here exactly what it's doing. And yes, it's doing exactly what we want it to do. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through here. And then it says it's re executed correctly. Then it registers the agent. So it's created it. It registers it. 
And then we'll go down a little further here if we want to see exactly what it's going to do. A trigger node that runs every 60 seconds, which is pretty quick. But hey, you know what? Some people get a lot of emails. And then it triggers a draft email response. And then it sends approved replies. Okay, good stuff. Now, if we want to see the deployment here, you'll see here it executes code, deploys the agent. You can also copy this code here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Why not? And then finally at the bottom, it wraps up exactly what it does. The thing I want to show you now is that you can now access the agent at this link or you can edit the agent if you're so inclined. So let's take a look at that next. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is how to access and deploy the agent, put it into practice. Here we go. You can access the agent at this link here. So I'm going to click on it. Watch this. It opens up and here it goes. It says the agent requires following integration to proceed. So we have to connect it to our Gmail. Let's do it. Let's click on it here. And then I'm going to select one of my old Gmail accounts here, Thunder Mountain. <laughs> it's not one that I use all that often. And then here you go. Abacus AI wants access to your Google account. So assuming you're good to go with this, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And literally, that is the whole step here. It's updating. And then you'll get an email that looks just like this in your email account. It says here, Abacus AI was granted access to your Google account. All right, so we've gone ahead and connected it. That was front to back. That's how you do it in chat, LLM Teams. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.